Hi, everyone. Uh, in this video, uh, what we will understand is uh, a real life scenario. So let me let me take a real life, a real life scenario about this. So what happened exactly is uh, the client, uh, he was uh, uh, he was testing the application. Now, while testing the application, what exactly happened is the screens were loading very slowly. Like it took like six seconds, 10 seconds, five seconds to basically load the screen. So now the problem was uh, the customer is saying, okay, my, uh, so my, for example, say if I, if I take this example of this uh, client server model and there is a server and there are different clients here. So for example, say uh, if I take my laptop or even my mobile or even my desktop, and these are going to my, uh, through my private network or through my internet. So now what exactly was happening? Uh, client was uh, testing it by using, for example, say uh, your desktop. So they have a fixed terminal where they're trying to go in uh, and uh, uh, type the application URL and try to uh, load the screen for the specific application. But the loading was very slow. So now there was a conflict. Okay, now where, where the performance issue is, the issue is either on the server side or on the internet or on the local uh, uh, the local network where from where the traffic is flowing up. So now to solve this problem, um, there uh, we, we have to take a certain kind of artifacts. So now these artifacts were one of the very basic artifacts, but very powerful tool is HTTP archive which is known as the HAR file. Now, what exactly it is, we will learn this. So now this is uh, this is the uh, the basic uh, uh, the problem statement where we are trying to understand where the performance is, where the performance problem is. Either it's on the, on the local network from where the traffic is going to the server or it is on the application server side where the server is taking a lot of time to process the information and finally give the response back to the client. So now we have to prove this to the client, okay, uh, it's not the uh, network, it's the server, or it's, uh, it's not the server, it's the network, uh, network part. So now how exactly we will do it? So first, let's understand what is an HAR file. So let's go back to the internet and see uh, what is an HAR file. Now, HAR file is nothing but an HTTP archive format. If you see on the right-hand side, uh, let's open this Wikipedia. Okay, now this is an HTTP archive format uh, or HAR, and it's a JSON format, and it's an archive file. So what exactly is happening is, uh, for log, uh, this, this, this helps you out to... Uh, if you see here, it says uh, this uh, format defines an archival format for HTTP transition that can be used by the web browser. So in 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 the short in shortest term, let me go back to the uh, to the actual yeah. So let's go back to the uh, to this Google uh, Developers tool. So let me let me go back to Google.com and let's come out from this developer tool. So okay, I'm on this side. So now what I will do is uh, I will go to my uh, developers tool first because to capture the HAR file, you have to go to the developers tool. And this is what the uh, the steps is. You go to developers tool now here. So right now uh, I'm in the network part. So if you see on the top uh, on the top uh, of the screen, there's a network tab here. Now, what exactly I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hit the google.com. Now, since we, uh, as I've shown you this client server model. So now, for example, in, in our case, the server is a Google server and I'm trying to hit uh, the Google server from my uh, from my desktop. And it will go through a public net uh, in this case, and we will see how exactly the uh, the traffic flows. So let's go back to this. So now, if you see, I'm on Google.com. I will say, okay, let's Google give me the page. So now, if you see here, what exactly happened? Uh, all the requests went through the network, and uh, it uh, it hit the uh, the Google server, and it, it gave me the. Uh, if you see on the back, it gave me the uh, the uh, the landing page of the Google.com. So this is what I got when I tried to hit the google.com similar in the in a similar way we had an application and in that application we are trying to hit a specific uh, uh, functionality uh, of that app and we are trying to load that screen to see on the screen what exactly is going on and then do the interaction and all those things but it's taking a lot of time so now I have to prove here whether, whether whether my network is having a problem or my application server is having a problem so now how we will do it so now these all things this is very difficult to uh, understand here okay what exactly which uh, uh, which which like request going on here and what is the timing and all those things so what we will do is if you see here, there is a button here this one is export HAR so let's let's click on this export HAR now I will go to my Google uh, I will save this to my local desktop okay so this is the HAR form uh, HAR file which is in the so I already had it so I'm just trying to replace it again so this is my HAR file now this HAR file uh, I've stored in my local uh, uh, local desktop so now let me do one thing uh, yeah now, if you see here, uh, this is uh, I've I've sorted everything, all this request with the uh, with the time here. Now, on the timing here, uh, this is the uh, this is the request is taking nine fifty milliseconds. Now, I want to understand this nine fifty milliseconds starting from starting from this client, starting from this when the moment I hit www.google.com, it went all the way to the internet 
and from there it went to the google server and it came back and gave me the all the uh, information uh, on the uh, on the on the browser uh, in the in the form of the uh, the landing pages google.com so now uh, where exactly the uh, where exactly this 950 millisecond which we have seen here where exactly it was it was spent so i need a breakdown of that so now when i see on this waterfall model this is a waterfall tab uh, on this column if you just go and hover this so this is showing you everything where exactly the time was spent so now if you see here uh, the queuing time it took like 11 point uh, 11 point 78 millisecond and got stalled for 1.64 millisecond and then finally uh, the main part here is the waiting part if you see the waiting part here is uh, which is waiting ttfb uh, this is the maximum time which was taken here which is 922.31 millisecond which is very which is very fast in in, in case of this google.com and it also depends upon which kind of uh, connection you're using here so now uh, this is what exactly the har file helps you out to do it so now HAR file, so the way I have imported, uh, exported the HAR file, uh, the same way I will go and import it. So now what I will do is, if you see there is an import button here, I will say import and uh, I will go to my download folders. Uh, it was on my desktop folder. I go and I go and upload this. So exactly the same thing, we will get it again because it's the same file. Now, so I've shown you how to export it and how to import it. And why we are doing all those things because here i will get uh, I, I will go and sort the uh, those requests which is taking a large uh, highest amount of time and then i will break down and see where exactly the time is spent if you see here the time is maximum spent on the waiting part and when i say waiting part uh, if you uh, if you just google it waiting ttfb let's see let's google it and see what exactly it is so if i say What is waiting TTFB uh, meaning in the uh, in the Chrome? So it clearly says here TTFB is basically uh, time to first byte. And if you see here, uh, yeah, how long the browser has to wait before receiving this first byte for, of the data from the server. So now server is taking so much time to go and uh, give the response back to the to the client. So here clearly it means the maximum time is, uh, is spent on the server side. So now let me take a real life example. What exactly happened in our case uh, when we went uh, on the end, on the exact application and try to see and troubleshoot what exactly is happening and where the time is spending. So now here the main part is main focus is to break down and make sure it's not a network issue, it's a server issue. So now if you see on this uh, on the screen on this PPT, what exactly is happening here? Uh, if you see the breakdown of this uh, of this HAR file, this is the thing about HAR file which we saw the similar way for Google.com. This is for the internal application. Now if you see here uh, my contain download. Uh, yeah, the main part is the waiting, uh, the waiting part. If you see the waiting part is taking in seconds, 2.72 seconds. And in case of accessing the google.com, it just took in milliseconds. So now here the entire, if you see the entire request uh, on the top here, 3.86, uh, it takes 3.02, uh, 3.07 second. And out of that maximum time, out of almost three seconds, 2.72 seconds is, is spent on the, on the server side. So now with this, with the help of this, we have proven to client, okay, it's not a network issue. But it's a server side issue where the server is taking a lot of time to go and process the information or process the request which is coming from the uh, from the client. It can be a laptop, it can be a desktop, or it can be a mobile. So now this is what exactly the overall idea is: uh, how to prove where the performance issue is. It's on the server side or it's on the network side with the help of the HAR file, HTTP archive file. You can go and you can very very easily you can go and uh, uh, take a specific request and break it down and see where exactly the time is uh, time is spent with the help of the HAR file. Now. If the uh, if the time is spent on the uh, on the application side, then uh, then uh, the application team can go in the uh, in the server and see okay what exactly is happening at that specific moment when this request was hit. So they can take a thread dump and they can analyze the thread dump. In the thread dump, they can see okay if the application is going and uh, uh, making any query to the database, they can go and see on the database what exactly is happening, which table is getting queried. Now if the table is having the proper indexes or not, or if the table is very huge, it needs to be purged out to increase the performance. Or if the uh, if the code needs a refactoring because the code is not uh, coded properly and it's taking a lot of time to um, uh, fetch the uh, the information from the database, or the uh, the latency between application and the database server is good or not? Maybe the application, maybe the latency between application and the database is not good. Uh, so that also can be uh, seen. Or you can take a GC dump, maybe a, a garbage collection dump, and see what exactly is happening in that uh, garbage collection and how garbage collection, how often it is triggered. It is a full GC. It is a uh, minor GC. So all these things can be done at the application side by the application team. And at least uh, uh, we, we were able to isolate the issue with the HAR file and uh, got the HAR file for the specific flow and break it down uh, with the help of the uh, HAR file into different uh, time zones and then try to see, okay, which exactly where the maximum time is uh, uh, spent. So hopefully this gave you an idea how you can use an HAR file 
uh, to go and track the uh, the performance issue where exactly the issue was and uh, hopefully this was helpful to you guys and uh, hopefully this added to you uh, added value to you guys thanks a lot